Hello folks, today I'm going to be taking a look at one of Cromlex orcs for their sci-fi range. This is the Freak. Okay, so taking a look at the Freak for your greenskin forces. Perfect for 40k orc fans. It comes in multiple parts with a few options. Um, I think it's a couple of head options we have. But starting off, we have all of this industrial cabling running down his back, along with a massive, what appears to be either cast iron or concrete ball on a chain. Uh, cowbell, because everybody knows you need more cowbell. And some uh, nice orky looking skull on his kneecap. Having all of the dags, checks and the like sculpted onto him means painting him up should be a lot easier. I love the orc skull and crossbones as well. And another cowbell on the other side. I haven't seen better days. He is not foot on rock. Because as we can see, the rock is way back here below his cloak. His feet are off it. And we'll see why when he's assembled. He comes with a little grot companion. Who is attached to these... Very chunky chains. I'll quickly pop those roughly into place. You can kind of get the idea where this is going. We have a sprue that contains a couple of, uh, I suppose, like almost Tesla coils or sort of Van de Graaff generator for earthing. We have a belt buckle come loincloth, patched up, a couple of heads, so a more cybernetic head, and then one who hasn't yet had to seek out the mad dock, with a cowl on, and then we have our hands, so one to hold the staff, and one potentially casting a spell. Nice bits of detail with the manacles, pipe work running around him and the quality from Cromlech is crisp as always. Speaking of his staff, here we have it. So hand on the uh, sort of center section, again festooned with orky glyphs, symbols, bells, everything you would need from a weird boy. There was a fantastic short story in the Weird Boy entry in, I think, here we go. Maybe Warg the Orcs, way back in the day, of somebody sitting, waiting before the battle, really fancying a squig to eat. And he opens his eyes, and there's one floating towards him, at which point a warlord walks past and goes, how about you come with me, son? we will give you a nice copper staff to earth yourself. So, if we look at the assembled version, Here you can see how that grot is desperately trying to tether him to the ground. Bundles of character in this model absolutely oozes it. And we see those earthing Tesla coil type things for sending sparks out. I will say if you're building one, see where his point of balance is because I glued the initial one to the front of a base and he tipped over all the time so I had to break him off that base and glue him to the rear of one of these 40 mils um, so there is a balance point make sure you get it right first time now as far as this upgraded freak for all your green skin needs goes he's nice he's big he's a chunky fellow he weighs in at Seventy mil to the top of his backpack, sort of uh, fifty mil to his eye level kind of thing, which is nice. It's impressive. It's not the most impressive thing you'll come across, mind you, because Cromlech have, and you may like this. I know I do. They've used the fact that CAD design is prevalent these days, 
to upscale this guy in case people want to spend a bit of time painting one and maybe they haven't got an orc army. Oh yes, let me just back up here. There we go. And I think this is something I can't wait to see more of from Cromlech and other companies should take note. If they have the ability to sculpt in CAD and then to produce the molds, when you've got things like this, being able to go in and just upscale it, or presumably the artist sculpted it in this sort of style and then it was scrunched down to fit to a uh, 32 mil scale war game. But this guy's a brute. And it reminds me of years ago when you used to be able to get figures like these from Forge World. And these collector's editions were always selling out massively. So if your freak isn't quite super enough and you want a super freak, then they have you covered with this absolute behemoth. He is 13 centimeters, 130 mil. Um, but all of those details in the gaming piece are there in this bigger version. So you've got your cowbells, you've got your grot desperately trying to hold them down. Uh, there's more patination, I suppose, on his uh, massive concrete ball there as you attempt to try and hold them in place. Absolutely gorgeous. So there we have Freak, Super Freak. All right, there we have it, not just the freak, but a super freak as well. So if you're after a unusual, bespoke, boutique looking character model to lead your Wave Boy Warpheads in 40K, I think this is gonna be a fantastic one. Or maybe you just wanna pick up that massive collector's edition and give it a really stunning paint job and pop it up on the mantelpiece. Why not let me know how you plan on using your freak below. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.